Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Rage of the Abyss Core Set Okay, so let's talk about this core set. We have the value card, Malchami Fiolos, and Rage of the Abyss introduces Azamina and Primite. And finally, its release date is October 10th, 2024. With that being said, let's continue on with the rest of the video. We have the support update, which is Six Samurai, Metal Morph, Morganite, Shark, Fire King, Mimi Ghoul, and Rescue Squad. We have the high potential card of the set, Dominus Impulse, which is going to revolutionize the hand traps was like never before, as this is going to enter our staple hand traps now, I think, in the future when this card gets released. Loads of dark decks are going to be using it. Anyways, let's move on to the next slide. And we have our wild card, Rescue Hedgehog. Indeed, I feel this card is a great wild card that we, we've got in this set. And it's going to be overlooked, but I think it can do quite a few things for some older decks. Speed up some stuff and speed up some plays. Definitely quite unconventional, but I think it has a place as a great wild card for the set. Let's move on. And here we have Yuki Award candidates. We have the best archetype of 2020 of 2024 is Snake Eye, and I think that's not going to change. We have the best wildcard archetype of 2024 is Tempai, and I would say the best hand trap of 2024 is Malchami Perelia. And finally, let's go to the grading of this set. So, let's grade the set. And with all things considered, this set will be, I'll grade it as A. As for amazingly beautiful. And why do I grade Rage of the Abyss as A? Because it's a good set, don't get it twisted, but outside of Azamina and Malcharmi, Fuelos, that's essentially it. There's really nothing else in this set. Now, this does not make the set S tier. This does not make it like an exceptional set. It's a good set, but there's not very many cards in this set that are really good. Like Azamina's great, sure. And I would say Six Samurai is a very fantastic set and has high potential, but no one's interested in it. There's loads of interesting cards in this set, but the interest isn't enough. And I feel while it, it just adds more support for Snake Eye, and I know it has been argued, people have been saying that it's as a Mina support, but I say no, I'll just shoot those haters down. This is just Snake Eye support. Sinful Spoils is part of Snake Eyes, and Azamina cards are classed as Sinful Spoils cards. So yes, that is just Snake Eyes. Whoever, whatever I don't see Azamina, I just see another Snake Eyes support. Anything that says Sinful Spoils at this point is Snake Eyes. Anyways, tangent aside of the Sinful Spoil rant, with all that being said, because we've only just added Snake Eyes support for the entire year and not added a new archetype, right? That's why it only gets a grade of A in my eyes. And that's all there is to it. So tune in next time in the next uh, video where we will cover more things and we will and should the next video, I think, we'll cover the award ceremony as we'll do some grading. Well, hope to see you soon. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.